Hi, this is the presentation for the e-learning course that I put together called Demystifying the Metaphysical, the Poetry of John Donne. To give you some brief background about the course, um, the metaphysical poets were this really fascinating group of intellectuals from the early 17th century in England who wrote this really dense, um, really interesting group of poetry and then were largely forgotten. And now there's been a great deal of appreciation for them and you can see their work in any standard poetry anthology or poetry curriculum. And yet because of the abstruse nature of their work and also because they lived in a time that's so foreign from our own in many ways, a lot of their work can seem very unapproachable to modern audiences who might otherwise enjoy it. So this seemed like a good opportunity to take the digital platform and bring out the best of this really ancient form of literature, poetry, and hopefully bridge that gap for a lot of readers who might be interested. And the focus of the course is on John Donne in particular, who is really representative of this era of poetry. The course is intended for anybody, really, who's open to learning about uh, metaphysical poetry and talking about it with others and sharing their learning. Um, all we ask is that they have uh, a reading level that is comparable to a high school English student or maybe at the introductory college level. And because it's an online course, of course, they should have some proficiency in basic computer skills, including navigating through web browsers and different file formats. The course itself is asynchronous and mostly self-paced, although there are weekly deadlines. And the course should be mostly available offline as well as online. And there is a mobile app that um, students can use if they prefer to use um, that particular format. The course itself is separated into four modules and each module takes up one week's worth of work. And each module has a combination of activities and assessments and discussions. There's also a section with various files that the students can access containing some of the more important documents for the course. The course consists of four objectives that can be roughly mapped onto each of the four weeks, although the objectives do show up uh, multiple weeks often. But each week focuses on a single theme, the first one being the world of the metaphysicals, which can be aligned with objective one. Week two goes into the poems of John Donne, um, and that week allows the students to review everything they've learned over the first two weeks and show what they've learned through an assessment at the end of that, that week. Week three goes into looking into analyses and using various types of media to do that because Eventually, the students for their fourth week will be asked to create a summative project in which they will do their own analysis and they're allowed to choose what medium they would like to use. So week three is dedicated to looking at different examples of that so that students can assess the pros and cons of uh, various media and which they would like to use for their own project. And by the end of the fourth week, students will hopefully have met the terminal objective, which is to be able to read demonstrate comprehension of, and produce analysis of a work of metaphysical poetry on their own. I can give you a brief preview of one of the modules. This is the one for week three, which I thought would be a good example because it's the one that goes through all the different kinds of media. So it starts with, as always, an introductory page letting students know what to anticipate for that week and what kind of expectations there are and when things will have to be completed. This one is followed by the first example of analysis, which is a standard essay. The next is a podcast that I created on another poem by John Donne. The third one is a video analysis, which has become a very popular format these days. And lastly is the interactive module that I created, which again focuses on a single poem. And this one actually ends with an assessment on the material in the module itself that students will take for um, as part of their score. Every week also includes a section for asking questions or leaving comments for their peers and for their instructor. And lastly, there's the um, activity for that week that students will submit. 
In assessing my course, I decided to use the uh, OSCQR course design review, and I found that my course met nearly all of the criteria on the list. There were a few things that were still missing, partly because in the case of the welcome introduction, I'm still working on that, which will be done by the next week. As far as item 40, which is introducing the instructor, I hadn't really intended on um, making this course available so I hadn't considered who the instructor might be, um, so I'm still figuring out what to put in for that section. And I'm also um, in the process of figuring out how Talent LMS does its gradebook system for learners to be able to access their grades. So hopefully I'll have that figured out within the next week. In the meantime, feel free to look through the course and if you see anything you think needs improving or is missing, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy looking through it and thank you very much.